That's a fact. So we can't have that. I'm happy that I was 70. Three, two, one, go! All right, now let's see if that uh, dominance that we were talking about before, you know, John Numbers has always seemed to be a tricky, tricky beast for uh, Mr. E to deal with. And my theory behind it is that Mr. E is one of the best ledge trappers in the world, and John Numbers is impossible to ledge trap. It's possible. But like the thing I don't understand is He ended is up the figuring way, it out, but for a really long time he couldn't. The way E plays and like where he likes to position himself, I don't understand what he's struggling in neutral, in all honesty. It's probably just John getting slip hits. Like, I'm not gonna lie, he got hit with a header and took like 30 just now. He has no jump. Oh, we get to, oh! That was so good from what? John. He just put so much pressure. He's gonna, oh my God. <laughs> that happened last week too. Oh, did you see earlier when Mr. E, oh my god, the edge guard he had on Sovio? I didn't. Oh, he footstooled to down air? Well, that's how she would do. It was that's ridiculous. Yeah, you know what it is? I can see it now. E stands way too close to John at the ledge, and there's no way you're reacting at that range, so you're just eating like pointless damage. He has to like understand like yeah that's what you'd like to what the hell John. He has to understand like listen this is what I'm good at but like versus certain in some situations it's doing more damage to me than it is to him. That would oh. kill him. That would have smoked was... that stock. And he just barely avoided it. Wow, uh, that was the smartest <laughs> recovery on stage I've ever seen. He took 22 because the ball hit him too. That's hilarious. Oh no jump. Yeah, but the position was just a little bit too hard for John Numbers to actually. That's hard, yeah, that's really hard to hit. That's a good grab from E. See, E needs to back up. That's what it is. He needs to back up. You can't be that close. You see what I'm saying? Well, actually, there he backed up in numbers. Well, nah, I guess he, because he the, the backing up itself was an action. Yeah, you, you know? have to already be like in a certain distance. You can't be like, oh, I'm too close after he's already getting up. Back throw. That ball's gonna make him expend an option? Nope, it just did nothing. Oh, that made his jab so meaty. Not only that, but it's like sort of this bait where like Mr. E is like, oh, maybe I can hit this ball. Maybe and, I yeah, can make the ball. That line. ball is very enticing. Everyone wants to hit it. I mean, it's a soft up throw. throw. Does up throw kill? No, not yet. Surprise! Just, okay, there's the deep breathing. Yep, that's that's gonna be that's it. That's the serve. Is, yep. That's the serve. I see it now. I can see it. Oh, oh see, he's gonna be so close. much damage. I'm telling you, he's way too close. You can't react, and John is gonna choose a different option he's every dead. time. Yeah, he, he killed him. <laughs> and he goes for the disrespect. John is. W listen. He is the, the only person that's literally fought entire matches on the ledge. He knows how to deal with people who are trying to get him off the ledge. He would choose a thousand different options. And if you're that close, you can't react to it. That big sword doesn't matter if you really don't know what he's going to do. You have to have some kind of idea and you just don't. And you got to relieve that. You got to understand like, yeah, that, that pressure that you normally bring to the table, it's not going to work against this guy. All right, game two is going to be on. Okay, what do you think? What are your thoughts on the stage counter play? I don't know why E would do this because now he has a wall jump too. So. <laughs> you guys can't even hear Devin's laughter. Look, you see, he just wall jumped for no reason, but he has it. Uh, do the ledges make a difference? Because Mr. E is going to be on slightly higher ground. I, that might hurt everything but E's down to. Like, ease down tilt would be easier at the ledge? But specifically, F smash when it comes might be better distance. on the ledge, too. Do you think F smash would be better? Because F smash is going to be pointed downward now. Is it? Or I yeah. don't know if it's... it should. I mean, every move interacts differently. Like, you kind of have to know about it. So, it maybe? I'm, I'm kind of just assuming that. I it can would. see it going either way. I can yeah. see it like being one of those stupid things where the hitbox still stops uh -huh. in front of her. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he knows something. I mean, the down tilts are helping. Like, he actually down tilted him like OD just now. Yeah. So yeah, that's I think probably that what is that's what he's looking for. The layout of the stage, it seems to be giving maybe it's even just like a subconscious adjustment where now he's further away because it, of it the ledge. Possibly. Either way, it looks like it is working. 
that down tilt, yeah, see, I like it better because now it's like you're at a range where you should be, not so goddamn close. Oh my. You can't roll through him when he's doing that, that um, sun salutation. <laughs> That's really cool from Don just sort of faking him out there. Yeah, John is the best at dash grabbing people. I mean, also, it's Wii Fit Dash Grab. It's not the thing you're worried about. <laughs> yeah, he's just <laughs> <grabbing. All> right. <laughs> okay. I numbers. defer to your judgment on everything forever now. <laughs> he I've just got like four dash grabs in a row. Isn't it like if he knows, if he's going to like go for the dash grab and like at this percent, shouldn't he just like do dash attack? Uh, uh, or no, he, he's a piece he shield. He shields the whole match, so. Oh, uh, okay. And also at this point, Mr. E is pretty likely to be shielding. Yeah, and then up. I mean, he can just wait for up throw to kill, I guess. Like if you want to just keep playing the same game on him. You know, Weefit kind of has cool ground movement now with the, the sun salutation. Oh yeah. And just overall the increased speed and the dash mechanics. The character got a lot of ground up. That was good. He should go. He should keep going off stage. Oh, oh that my. was the right idea. He just missed. So you saw he actually went for an up air. Uh, Forward, I killed. All oh, right, so. <sighs> oh, that's so smart. He hasn't been doing that, really. What? Like waiting at the deep breathing on the Halo platform. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Did you see that, guys? <laughs> I, I saw it. Don't worry. Oh my goodness. We have enough monitors here that that was impossible to miss. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> it's just, I, I, there, is there like a psychological component too? Because I feel like if I did that against Mystery, I would absolutely have gotten up and got a shield. The thing is, it's like, oh my. Whoa. Remember, this is a normal ceiling. So those platforms are just like, hey neighbor, to that, <laughs> to that ceiling, bro. So we, we are friends because we are close. Yeah. Oh, see, there you go. There's the wall jump. Now he's not going to be able to ledge guard and watch. There's also the fact that, like, when you do uh, a wall jump, like, even if you don't do it to, like, necessarily help yourself or you just, like, buy time with it, you're, your opponent's now just thinking about it. The wall jump, yeah. Yeah, and it's just, just like, okay, Cause is now, he going to use a 50-50 to mix up his timing? Yeah, because now instead of, like, waiting for him to up B to the ledge, regular timing is like, yeah, is he going to wall jump? Yeah, and what then you go that? off you early. He did like a weird rising upper onto the stage because of the slam. This game is so weird. Back throw? I think that does the most damage. I believe it does. And finally, deep breathing in effect. Maybe he can finish this stock off. That's gonna. No. Oh, he falls out of it. Yeah, there's also the fact that like so uh, deep breathing and like any move that like kind of increases your your movement, like you know that your opponent is about to go on like a really weird offense. Yeah. So it's like, okay, now I'll just swing at like the open air that you'll potentially be in. And that's what Lucina likes to do. Yeah, it's like encoded into her DNA. So if you want to just start like dash dancing half the stage, I mean, uh, go you, I guess. But <laughs> she's definitely going to be like, swing. Swing. So I'm not going to lie, that stage was actually, that was actually a really good pick for me. I didn't expect that at all. That stage really helped them. Which means we're most likely not going to see it for game three. Instead, we have PS2. Uh, he doesn't really have a wall jump here. No, no really. not really. The wall jump didn't do nothing for John, so. Yeah. The down tilt on the edge did everything for E, though. All right, so, but the thing to note is, like, now on PS2, you have a stage that's much, much larger. So, like, if Numbers wants to build his zone, like, he has a much easier time doing it because he'll be like, yes, sir. Uh, I I'm need out. to do some stretches, so you just stay over there. Thanks. Actually, and like people tough. that don't fail to realize this, because they think E is like the most aggressive guy. If you're somebody that can challenge E or E doesn't feel like he can uh. swing at you, he will stand there. He doesn't. He doesn't oh, come. Yeah. E like he pushes buttons, but he's not aggressive. You never watched him play me. He does not come to me. Yeah, like there's a very big dis difference between being aggressive and and holding your yeah. zone. Like, there's this some is my people, spot. There's some players that are extremely aggressive without any, hitting any button. This, Mike Kirby oh my was like super aggressive by walking at you. Yeah, he was always like a little, little like gumball walking <laughs> towards you no matter what. 
I'm in your zone. What are you going to do? It's crazy. Like, John does the best when he's, like, actually in neutral with E. And I find that wild. Like, how is he getting around that sword so easily? Uh, a big part of that, I think, is his speed. It looks like E's actually figuring out how to keep him at the ledge a little better, though. Because that's been, like, the main thing that's changed. Oh, yeah. And there he manages to even get a stock off with it. John is now down by a pretty significant margin, considering that his like average kill percent for Mr. E has been really high. Even forward throw at the ledge is not going to do it quite yet. He has to go for some crazy edge guard, possibly. Oh, and now deep breathing is going to wear off, and he's going to be stuck at the corner. And every hit just matters so much. Look at that down and a forward that was big smash. Damage. Yeah, Mr. E, oh, it's it's so like I I feel like. I'm not able to keep up with how much he adapts. Like, every part of how he manages to do it, because this is looking completely world's different than game one. Oh, wow. Okay, that looks a little bit like game one. Yo, he's the smartest not smart player I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? I know. I mean, like, he's just he knows intuitive? exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. All right. He doesn't even know how shields work in this game, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, didn't he? Wait. Yeah, I, I can tell Remember. stories on top of stories. Remember, I'm not trying to expose he's him. He's a brawl boy. <laughs> been in the scene for now over 10 years. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm talking about Ian. Look, this. Did John get hit? Did John he get Kyle can, bro. Oh, there LOL. No, do not, do not, not no. back air that shield like that, John. You will lose a stop. Yes, he did. That's a classic way for John to die off stage where he's just like, I'm going to press a button. You're not going to come get me. Oh, you did. Yeah. That's like that's kind of uh, like the key. You gotta like go over there. Yeah. For John, and it's like then he's like, this guy comes for me. But like numbers does option. have counterplay for that too. He it's does. just like, you know, you you definitely get one. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you always get one. Yeah. It's not looking good for numbies though. I mean, he was down by a lot going into the last stock, and he managed to... Nah, like, people only have one of those. Died. Oh, if he kills himself, though. Yeah, that down tilt, I feel like, got stronger, and it's, and like, it's so weird killing. looking. Oh, Listen, my. Have you ever gotten hit by that in real life? It hurts. So here's the here's the double-edged sword of getting hit by forward tilt. Uh, across the stage on PS2. Him yep. picking the stage, like... He may have died on like a different stage. Wow, oh my God. He just walked through it. Yeah. he. I guess he held up from the Trump. So then he just like went up and then started power walking. All right, what 94 damage. You got to take this stock now right and then now. like hit him a bunch. I mean, keep in mind, he lived to 200% this is true. before. Not but even this set. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. Yep. Yeah, that's it. All right, Looks that like I'm up. One victory for Mr. E. Great adaptation. And now he gets to get his... Did he have a... He's fought you yet? Did Mr. E fight you yet? One today? Yeah. Yeah, they today. found winners. Oh, right. I... Listen.